the other day, the other week actually, Friday, um, my bike just decided to stop dead. Yeah, stopped right about here, I would say, and I coasted all the way to this shoulder coming up. And yeah, I stopped right there. Uh, and actually, a Harley guy pulled up behind me, which is I was I was pretty happy about. He said he had previously ridden a Hayabusa, so it's probably you know helped a little bit in stopping because all the other motorcycles. It was rush hours, so. Everyone else was passing and couldn't probably stop. Um, he asked me what was wrong and if I had someone coming. I had actually called my and texted my boyfriend. I called a group called uh, a pair I know personally. Um, they are with Thunder Mountain Motorcycle Rescue, and they will help pick up your bike instead of having you know a tow truck just haul it away on their bed or whatever. They have a a trailer. It's an enclosed trailer, so for 82 bucks it took me all the way home. But you know, it's better than having nothing. And that's what we didn't have a truck, we didn't have a trailer, so best 82 bucks I ever spent. And I told Nacho that that was the most expensive ride you're ever gonna take, okay, bud? He's been good ever since. Uh, we found out, um, so that was Friday. Trash is getting dumped down on this freeway. So that was Friday. Uh, Saturday was my girl's ride to Cougar, the Cougar Run. And I was so pissed because I thought I wasn't going to be able to make it. Like the bike just stopped dead. I had no idea what was wrong. I had put a new battery in uh, about two weeks before that, uh, 600 miles before my, my bike just completely stopped. So I was, I was at a loss. I had no idea what was going on. So Warren, like the awesome boyfriend he is, took to it and looked it up. At first we thought it was the stator that went out. And so he did some more reviews. I think he checked that with the voltmeter and it was fine actually. He checked my battery. It was actually low because it didn't. It what? It just wasn't charging. It was a, at like 11 something volts. Uh, then he checked the rectifier, which is also a, vo a volt regulator. Man, there's a lot of stuff on the road. And he notices that one, that was actually dead. I don't know what it read on the, the meter because he took it off and you could actually see where it had burnt. It had gotten so hot that the wires were poking through. So we automatically knew that this was it. So because we also have the same bike, pretty much, I mean, it's, they're two Jixxers. This guy better get over so I can get over. Thank you. So he just took the one off of his bike and put it on mine. Luckily it matched and everything. It was the same part number. It was an updated version of it. Uh, the 08 bikes for the Jixxers, I actually had a recall for those. So if anybody has an 08 Jixxer, make sure you get that checked out. And we bought another volt regulator. We think it had something to do with having so many things on my battery. Uh, the, the, the heated vest I have during the winter and my uh, bike alarm is also connected to that. So it, it has to regulate the power and when you turn on the bike, well the battery as it sits is like 13 point something volts. When you turn on the bike, it goes up to 14 because of the regulator. It regulates the power and how many voltages, voltage, how much voltage goes to what part. So that's how it works. And now we know the symptoms of it dying too is if your lights start dimming. That's the symptom of it. We thought it was the battery going dead. So um, actually my older battery is fine too. So 
if this one dies out, I got a gel. It doesn't have acid in it. If this dies out, then I don't um, need to go out and buy one. I could just use my old one. I think my first thought, my first reasoning as being I need a new battery was because DJ Sipster had gotten stranded on his on the freeway in Arizona and he found out that he needed a new battery. So I thought that was my first thought. I'm glad uh, we figured it out though because that night he figured it out at 10 p.m. at night and I was able to go on the ride the next morning which was awesome. I had to like do multiple emails and such because I was trying to explain, I don't know if I was gonna go, I'll be the leader, someone else can lead. And then I had to email them all back saying that I was able to go. I think this fort is really slow. What do you guys say? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, so 